this is a Project for Awesome video in support of Grid Alternatives, a charity that helps people with low incomes get solar power. So, let's talk about solar panels. First of all, they're awesome. They lower energy costs, provide energy independent of fossil fuels, and if we put them on roofs and over parking lots, they're less environmentally destructive than wind or hydroelectric power. But, how do solar panels work? Let's start with silicon. It has four outer electrons and is an insulator. Pretty boring. What if we add some phosphorus? Since it has five outer electrons, the fifth electron is free to move around. And since there's a free negative charge, we call this an n-type or negative type semiconductor because it is a conductor as opposed to silicon. A similar thing happens if you add boron, except since boron has three outer electrons, there are holes where electrons should be rather than electrons. And the free charges are positive rather than negative. So this is a p-type semiconductor. Put an n-type next to a p-type. On the end where they touch, the electrons go from the N to the P, filling the holes. But that makes a layer of charged atoms, positive on the N type and negative on the P type. So the electrons can't go from the N to the P anymore because they'd have to go through the negatively charged P type. But if you connect the two sides with a wire and you put it out in the sun, then if a photon hits an electron, it gives it enough energy to escape and move along the wire towards the hole. Then you have a flow of electrons. Flow of electrons, that's electricity. And you can put basically anything on the wire between them, and the electrons will flow through, powering a motor, a calculator, or your house. So, solar's great. And many people are installing solar on their homes and businesses. My family took out a loan to get solar panels on our roof, and it's decreased our electric bill by 80%, and we pay slightly less if you include the loan. But many people can't get solar panels, either because they don't have the money, they rent, or their roofs are too old to hold up the panels. That's where Grid Alternatives comes in. Through the charitable contributions of many generous donors, they work with governments to install solar panels on low-income, single-family homes, multifamily buildings, and in other community projects. They also provide hands-on solar training to thousands of workers. You can donate to their project at gridalternatives.org support. Through these donations, you can become part of a community that has helped keep hundreds of thousands of tons of greenhouse gases out of the air and provided tens of thousands of kilowatt hours of electricity, saving participants hundreds of millions of dollars on electricity costs. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about solar panels, we recommend Crash Course Engineering Number 22. Please vote for Grid Alternatives at projectforawesome.com.